fair trial under Article 50 of the Constitution when the only fundamental infrastructure of the trial is unavoidable. My dear my lords, permit me to address you on what was submitted by Mr. Somani. It's unfortunate that he has chosen to have a very lean and thin way of looking at the application of Article 149 of the Constitution. There can never be anything that is misleading to say that that article should be uh, read in isolation of other provisions of the Constitution. If you, if you choose to read Article 149 in isolation, you arrive at the absurdity that Mr. Somane and his colleagues have arrived at. I will urge him to urge this honorable court to look at the import of Article 259 of the Constitution, which provides for the manner in which the Constitution must be interpreted. If Mr. Somani was carried with the truth, he would have uh, 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 invited this honorable court to harmonize and purposely read into Article 147, 149. My ladies, my lords, the reading of Article 149 in a, uh, in a hom uh, hom uh, homogeneous way would have told Mr. Somane that then Article 99 and Article 197 of the Constitution is imperative. And they were to say that the IBC had no role in the process of the nomination of Mr. Kineki is absurd, is not true. The fact is that if Mr. Kineki was to successively become the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Is it then true that he can become a deputy president who has not qualified under Article 99 of the Constitution? Is it therefore true that he can become the deputy president if he has not qualified under Article 197 of the Constitution? Who then determines this qualification? Is it the president? Is it Mr. Somane? Is it the I, is the I neighbor? Who determines that qualification? My if Lord, it is not Lord, the IBC. My Lord, there is something that uh, Mr. Gill is submitting on, which touches on very critical facts concerning Professor Nibiki as to his qualifications. And we are all familiar with the qualifications of Professor Nibiki. Uh, I think the last time Mr. Uh, Kamodo was before you, he said he has no clients. I have a client, the uh, tenth. Respondent, the United Democratic Alliance, I cease to ask for the other clients because it would have been illegal. But I have a client, so I'm going by the record. And uh, it is important that uh, the record be made straight with regard to Professor Kidiki's qualification and including a uh, court had been cited in the affidavit that he was not a member of the UDA. By the, for three months, which is not a requirement in law. No law requires you to be a member of a political party for three months for you to ascend to the position of the deputy president, which Professor Kibiki has acceded to. And secondly, uh, it will be a very issue that you have. Yes. So we're going to have the opportunity to answer it because the law is the opposite of what you say. It was raised by Mr. Gil, I'm just clarifying. It's not the time to raise that issue, that is my submission, my law. He is going into the merits of Gil. But when Mr. Gil made the This is so that my Lord is here is a record from Professor Kildiki. I think if Mr. Dego Giro, my very good friend, I usually call him the Black Bull, would keep off the Ashiki's application. Black what? Bull. That's, that's what Dego Giro means. Uh, if my friend the Grand Bull would achieve within the remit of a rejoinder and the reply, will not be having all these interjections. I have been resisting that because I always try to avoid that hearing cantankerous. Uh, but uh, if he keeps rehashing his application, unfortunately, then as the person on record for Professor Kidiki, I will be forced to be cantankerous, which is not my nature. Let's give Mr. Jim time to. I am also friends by the Lord. My Lord, finally, let us distinguish the Kisi case from what is before you. What is before you, my ladies, my lords, is a case where a party was not granted an opportunity to be heard. It's a question where there is a violation of Article 27, violation of Article 10, violation of Article 50, 
and violation of Article 25 that the right to be had cannot be derogated. What was in PC, my 